My name is um, Willie Blackwater. I'm the chief for Gajuka First Nation. Um, our uh, First Nation has been in um, co-management and um, third party for over a decade. Um, when we were in third party with uh, um, the financial group that was helping us, uh, supposed to help us and train us, um, didn't really um, have no financial statement for us uh, for the duration of their time with us. And not once have we ever seen a, a financial statement or even anything except for an audit and all we did was sign off an audit and not even uh, know what it is that we're, we're signing at the time. Right. They came in and they attempted to uh, go through our, our financial statements, our financial records and all of that you know, for the past five years. And lo and behold, they couldn't find him. When you take a look at it, and one of the things that, uh, that, that we emphasize now as a competent body is that we need a cash flow projection of all the programs. And that way, you can have a better picture of the recovery. So when we have, because we have um, right now what we, we've heard to as uh, executive committees for one for health, one for education, and one for band administration, right? You have the ease program that shows us everything, right? The salaries, everything, all, all the different programs that are run and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And the ease program to actually start um, uh, designing uh, um, uh, um, a budget uh, forecast yeah. for us, the cash flow forecast for us, right? And that way we'll be able to monitor everything that, that, that it is we're doing. You see, I'm starting to understand the financial language that we use, right? right. That's one of the benefits of the ease program is understanding, right? If you don't have that understanding, then you can't make decisions based on financials, right? Mm -hmm. That's to us, that's crucial, that's important. And one of the key things that uh, we do is, is that even though our decision make it, making them um, has um, sometimes creates chaos, conflict and chaos within our, our governing body. When we take a look at the bigger picture of why we're making decisions, and then everybody starts dropping that personal issues that mm -hmm. come along with the decision making. And we look at a bigger picture and say, this is the foundation why we're making this decision. This is one of the key points and crucial points about the East program is we have a clear picture of why we're making a decision and stuff like that, right? You know, so, and I think that's what's going to be um, quite beneficial in, in the long term for us is that uh, when we continue to use this and, and we have a better knowledge of the usage and everything, I think it's going to be pretty incredible. To be honest with you, um, I don't know, uh, you know, if you ask me this question and start this interview, when I first became chief, I, I wouldn't know how to answer you. Yeah, that's the, that's how significant and crucial the AIDS program had made positive changes within our nation.